Good afternoon. My name is Keith Kawoka, Department of Health, Environment Health Administration. The Department of Health is working very closely with the city to deal with this emergency situation right now. We are coordinating with uh, the city to do the sampling, uh, posting of signs in the area, as well as dealing with any other uh, public health emergency uh, for this situation has brought. Uh, let me say firsthand that uh, our mission from the Department of Health is to protect the public health and the environment, and we're doing all the resources to deal with this emergency, and hopefully we'll see a resolution sometime soon with the results coming in, hopefully in about a day or two. All right, now I believe there's about uh, just over 20 locations that we're sampling right now from the Kakako Park all the way to the end of the Waikiki Beach area. Uh, we're sampling for, the city sampling for bacteriological type of uh, indicators. Um, there's also type of uh, physical parameters that are being sampled for by the state, including like turbidity, pH, those kinds of uh, parameters. Statewide is a uh, brown water advisory statewide right now because of the rainfall uh, situation has occurred. Uh, there is, uh, besides the, this park, we understand that there's closure um, in the uh, Kapahulu Groins area, mainly because of the Honolulu Zoo uh, overflow that occurred there. Uh, but there's also posting, I understand, at other parts of the, uh, the Waikiki Beach. I, I can't let the city kind of answer that more specifically. Just to get the message absolutely clear, this went national. And um, the message is Waikiki is closed as a pure um, abundance of caution. Department of Health asked us to extend the, the um, boundaries. The spill is here in Ala Moana. Our spill is not going to affect Waikiki and go in that direction, but because of the brown water advisory island wide, they asked us to extend it there. So if you could please get that out to all of your viewers, Waikiki is closed because of a brown water advisory just to be safe. It's not because of the wastewater spill. I had tourists call me up today in a panic. They're coming in and they're saying the sewage spill closed the beaches in Waikiki and please Get that clip out there because it's not because of the sewage spill. Um, to answer your question, Andrew, about the signage, there's two types of signs. There's a wastewater spill and then there's brown um, water advisory. So the wastewater spill it is specific on what we need to put in there. Brown water, it's a little bit more general. So, so what about the uh, evidence of uh, human waste in the water down there uh, by the Humpty Beach area? How do you explain that? Okay, that could be surfers because um, Actually, with all of the water that came into our system, everything is really diluted. But we find that actually that happens quite often. When the surfers are out there, they just they just go out there. So not necessarily it's due to the sewage spill. So when I did the press conference yesterday, maybe I wasn't as specific as I am today, but I, I did mention that no matter if the spill happened or not, there is the brown water advisory. So we would we, you would have high bacteria levels anyway because of all of the the water's coming down from the streams and the storm drains. The Department of Health is the, um, they dictate where we take the samples. So we're taking shoreline samples, it's about 20. We took yesterday, maybe about three o'clock. It takes 24 hours for the sample results to come back. We immediately submit it to Department of Health and they come back to us and say whether we get a clean bill of health. We already took samples this morning at about nine o'clock. The samples went into our laboratory about 10 o'clock and we should get the results back again submitted to Department of Health and tomorrow morning we will do one more set of samples. Runoff from any of the storm drain system into the ocean is something that's serious. It's something that we take very serious and we do try to guard against to the best that we can. Uh, one of the things that we're always cautious about of course is the presence of any kind of fecal matter or anything that could cause any harm to people that are swimming or recreating in the beach or in the areas around the water. So we can't say for sure whether there was any associated with the zoo and any discharge from the zoo, but I can tell you that that's something that we try to enforce against very rigidly because there are many places around Oahu where people do dump illegally into the storm drain system. We have an active campaign to warn people not to dump waste into the storm drain because it does discharge into the ocean. That's something that we feel very passionate about. Uh, but we still have people dumping motor oil, plant cuttings, grass clippings, as well as animal fecal matter, which all ends up out there uh, during these brown water alerts. My crews were here till about 8.30 last night. They cleaned and disinfected the area. But if you go back and look at the area, it, at 8.30 last night, of course, it's dark and cold. The ground was still saturated, so we definitely need the sun. The sun helps to dry it up. My crews were back here first thing this morning to, again, clean 
deodorize and disinfect.